What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another deck profile here on TCG University for the Card Game Universes. My name is Tam, and today I'm going to be showing you a deck profile on uh, Tyler's Botan deck from our Heaven and Hell Campus Championship. If you like this deck profile, make sure you check out all of the matches that Botan played in over on the YouTube channel, uh, <laughs> youtube.com slash TCG University, or check out our Campus Championships lives on twitch.tv slash TCG University every Tuesday starting at 6 o'clock. So with that, let's jump into the profile. All right, so into the Botan deck profile. So if you haven't seen one of my uh, deck profiles before, basically instead of reading off exactly what the cards do, what I'm going to do is uh, give you more of a uh, elevator pitch, a brief overview of how the deck wants to work and wants to operate. So what's the elevator pitch for Botan? Well, this deck is under order. And it is playing a bunch of throws. And so what our plan is, is to uh, consistently make our response happen the twice per turn. It, we want that to happen uh, as much as we can. I'll gain two, you lose one. As well as just a, a little disruption by making them discard a card, draw a card. We have some effects that deal with that, but it's not really the focus of the deck. We really, I just want to respond and try and kill you as quickly as I can. So, on the attacks, our main uh, big attack is, we're playing four Guilt Seeker. It's just a throw with multiple ones, so it by itself, if they're not holding a low block, it can trigger Botan's response uh, twice, as well as the Enhance twice. Um, it can destroy foundations or assets, probably assets in today's meta, and uh, just really make uh, consistent plays. Um, it does a bunch of damage. It's a, a six damage throw, essentially, if, as long as they don't have an asset. And it's seven damage, and I'll gain two with Botan. Uh, just consistent, quote-unquote, good card. Up next, we're playing four Death Valley Faceplant for pretty much the exact same reason. Um, it is a six damage throw inside of Botan, um, or a four damage throw inside of Botan because they uh, don't block and then you burn them an extra, or they do block and then you burn them an extra, and then it gains two and then she gains two. Um, besides that, that's really it. It's just a two mid block, five diff. It kind of takes just the same spot as a Guilt Seeker when it comes to it. Uh, it. It just needs to be a throw, and that's what matters here. Up next for uh, the Botan support, we're playing one, uh, or excuse me, uh, four copies of a Mop Strike. It's just a little more draw power, a little more consistency. It's got Desperation 3, it's got a solid mid block. Um, it says, um, I'll make them discard a card and randomly draw one, and then I'll discard a card and draw one, and if they've discarded a card, draw one. So it's, it's kind of like uh, Filter 2, um, and it always happens because of how Botan works, how Mop Strike works. So um, just really good uh, Filter 2 cards. Good stuff. Consistent. Up next, we're playing just our all around good attacks. We're playing four Hyper Bomb. This card says uh, that they have to have that low block, which then I could take and combo into a Guilt Seeker and, and hit them for some big damage. Um, they want to definitely block this. Um, and sometimes I might just strip the low block out of their hand. Uh, make uh, Having them randomly discard a draw is just, is just enough disruption in order to, to make threats like this uh, scary, depending on the scenario. On the, the opposite side, uh, maybe you accidentally draw them into a low block and then your whole plan was ruined. So you have to be very, uh, I wouldn't say sparing, but just be aware that sometimes you're just going to give them the answer um, if you if you're both on and our last attack the coolest attack in the deck for Raptor Rush, uh, it's respawn after you block with this card. You get to play it as a reversal, and so I get to trigger Botan on my opponent's turn. The uh, I never ever rarely get to respawn and, and burn them gain to, um, and this card says that if it's not blocked, which hopefully it won't be, we get to just pseudo auto block the next attack. It it turns their zone into um, whatever zone I want it to be, and then also gives it no speed. And so this card is just a really really solid defensive piece inside of this deck. Moving on to the actions and assets, um, it's just really, this this deck is a lot about, like, making sure that I try and stay alive. There's not a lot of offense in the deck. The offense just purely comes by the attacks. And so the defense that we're playing here is just, we're playing three stops just because I want to end their turn. I want their best piece on the board to not be playable. I want to commit their... Uh, character and then to say hey it's it's going to be back to my turn here fairly soon um as as soon as we can your your my character is not amazing neither is your character especially because they're committed and then the only asset we're playing is one flame bear make myself a little faster pick their stuff a little slower it's got a solid uh zero five one mid block with breaker one just all around just a solid inclusion in any deck that could play it good stable if you will so like I said, the uh, the deck's not really about killing people. There are some uh, kill more cards, but they're just not the focus of the deck. So uh, the first section of cards that I want to talk about are the consistency cards. We're playing three passing the torch. Um, I'm a six hand sized character with 20 life, uh, 25 vitality. And sometimes I can't quite get there, especially with uh, none of these cards drawing me or adding anything to my hand. And so I want to be able to just add stuff whenever I need to. And so being able to just commit and pick up a card, super, super relevant. We're playing um, four Voice of Reason. It's just Botan's uh, Enhance Your Attack just once per turn. Both players discard a card, draw a card. They get to pick on this one. They don't get to pick on the Botan one. So the suggestion would be probably um, hit the... Uh 
the ones that they get to pick first and then hit the random ones because they're going to be keeping the cards that they want to keep and then make them randomly get rid of stuff. Um, up next, uh, the next section is just the re-ready squad. <laughs> uh, we're playing one Tijuana Groceries. It's just the best card to do this. Remove two foundations that I'm not going to use in the game and then re-ready it back up. Really good for playing big string attacks. If you look back at our uh, attack strings, um, everything except for Mop Strike is a 5 diff. So we're playing Hyper Bomb, Raptor Rush if I've got to play it on my turn. Death Valley is a 5, Guild Seeker is a 5. And so it's uh, in order for me to play really big attack strings, I need to be able to keep my foundations up and ready. Uh, playing three attacks means I'm probably going to be committing uh, probably three or more cards with Tijuana that actually turns it down to I commit one one card, um, including Tijuana twice. We're playing Double God of Thunder. It's just Tijuana, but um, as opposed to readying itself, it readies anything on the board once per turn. Tijuana can be played at any number of times per turn. And then it also says plus two damage randomly, which is important in our throw deck because giving uh, a six damage attack and extra two damage might be the thing to half block and kill him and then respond and hit him with both time. And then our last re-ready squad is going to be uh, three Aerial Recon. After they discard a card, I'm going to ready uh, this foundation. And then um, after my opponent discards a card in the combat phase, uh, I get to look at their hand. So it's possible whenever I do my random discard, uh, they'll discard their card. Um, I will look at their hand, and then they'll go draw that blind card once again. But maybe uh, I know that I'm playing in mostly low attacks, and they have mostly high uh, blocks. I won't use the Botan in hands anymore. That's fine. It's to that's totally okay. Um, a little a little Pixies is uh, all we need. Um, On to the defensive part of the deck, um, which most of this deck is. We're playing three Fei Fei. Uh, you got to block stuff. Blocking is super, super important, especially in a character with only 25 life. And so making the most out of your blocks, making sure that I can I can successfully block. Um, it feels really bad uh, just attempting to block with something and then just failing it outright. Um, our block zones are not absolutely fantastic. And so making sure that I stretch out my 25 as much as I can is super important. We're playing Double Nightmare Terrors, auto block a low. The your turn isn't super uh, useful inside this deck. It's just there to be a blocky boy. Speaking of the OG blocky boy, we're playing Double Cool and Focus. It does the same job as Nightmare Terrors, where Nightmare Terrors is uh, just better at blocking low. This guy blocks mid, and he's really good at blocking multiples. Um, it says if you attempt to block it, it returns to its printed speed, which a multiple's printed speed is zero, and um, its zone is zero. It is mid, excuse me. That's what is quote-unquote printed on a multiple copy. And so whenever they uh, multiple low, like if we we're playing against our own Guilt Seeker, um, if we went to block the multiple, block with Cool and Focus, it would pretty much auto-pass. Fun stuff. The more, the more you know. Up next, uh, continuing on the defense, uh, a little DR. We're playing one refusing to let go. Put it back to print and minus two. It's really, really solid. Good versus punch and duty decks. We're good versus uh, uh, just these really big missile launcher, crazy aggro. I'm going to shotgun decks. It's really, really strong. Uh, one of the best cards in the game, defense-wise. Um, and there's not a lot of commitment to it. Um, it's just a singular card. It's not a big combo piece. We're playing one last of his kind. I'll pay uh, two life for minus four damage, then hopefully hit you with something and gain that two life back. Um, really useful um, ability on these two cards. Comboing together. Now on to the uh, the what I'll call just the extras. Um, you don't necessarily need them, but you don't you don't not need them. Oh, we're playing two pile of the river sticks. Uh, after your opponent after your tactical damage, your opponent loses two vitality just by committing. It's like it's almost like a a worse version of. Um, uh, Shell of a Proud Man um, on a 3-5-3 three, three high. This just says after it deals damage as opposed to that one saying after they don't block. And then response remove after my opponent plays a non-character response. Cancel ability. Big thing. This is the only work if I've used the enhance on Botan. So only if they've discarded a card this turn. Up next, we're playing uh, Double Radical Edward. Um, Radical Edward is just, hey, they, there's a problem card in your staging area. Commit this. Uh, commit that. Uh, really good versus assets currently. Um, probably the best use of asset control. Um, foundation wise up next we're playing triple ages home wise my foundations uh aren't uh too terribly important but man do i i want them it's super easy to get blown out on turn two by just having two of your assets accidentally get uh destroyed especially with something like to brothers and so this uh foundation just says that i get to keep my fund uh, keep my uh my foundations and then my last card is uh triple mally um this is just more stun deterrent than anything um i'm not playing anything in my deck that commits as a cost or checks as a cost and so this card just says if they uh stun my stuff i'm gonna stun i'm gonna commit they commit one of theirs also it's just a one six the two high blocks just really good overall stats and that's it tyler's botan deck if you liked the deck make sure you check us out on uh the rest of the matches on um twitch as well as youtube and uh catch all the other content that we're going to be doing uh out on um the channel so from all of us here at tcg university thank you very much for watching and stay learned